Well, hello everyone. My name is Chris Madness, or on DeviantArt you may know me as uh, Pulp Tony, or yeah, that's I think that's the name. So I finally decided to record the process of me doing something, and it wasn't me doing my special thing, I mean special normal thing, but it was uh, me doing actually something different for once. Well, I, I decided to try out one of those uh, more painting styles, so yeah, let's say that about five YouTube tutorials later, I finally managed to, well, maybe nail it. I mean, I tried recording the process of doing the sketch for this, but it actually ended with me recording the wrong screen, so I had like five hours less of footage. I mean, it's still... Three, three and a half hours condensed into one single video, but I could have been way worse. So, anyways, about this piece. Well, this is uh, representing, a, well, a hunt mostly of uh, three elegant ronins that are trying to well, take down a single uh, space ranger. Those characters come from a universe RPG system that uh, I am making called Crimson Punk and well if you want to see more pieces in that universe they are on my DeviantArt that will be linked down in the description. But anyways back to the piece. Well basically the idea came from well I want to uh, show a proxy conflict that exists in the lore for like about a year and a half now, and I never done any piece on it, either you know with drawing by hand or with uh, doing it mm, digital in digital art. So I decided that I'll finally do it, and I said that hey, if I'm experimenting with doing the Space Rangers, then I guess I'm going to do something funky, which is why I ended up with uh, well this monstrosity of a perspective shot. Basically, uh, the idea was that the ranger was supposed to jump over a parkour-style uh, table uh, while being shot at by two space ronins and another one cornering him from a different corridor. But the table looks like a bench and the jumping over is pretty... well... was well, pretty bad. <laughs> but honestly, it's... I think it's one of those pieces that the background is way better than the foreground. <laughs> uh, I really like how... I mean, I really like how the lighting effects when it came together. I mean... Yeah. Or this one here. Uh, the flame is behind, behind the Elegant Ronin Major. This guy. <laughs> I set him as my... As my I set him up so, as my profile picture. Oh, and... By the way, as you might tell, this is off script because I didn't care enough to write one. Or didn't bother. It's late in the night, I was doing this... I was drawing constantly for like 8 hours today, so I, honestly I just need to get some sleep. I'm tired, but hey, you gotta promote yourself somehow. Anyways, yeah... Yeah, at some point when I was drawing this, I thought that maybe there should be some... Well, they ended up being flames, but maybe like, I don't know, like bushes or maybe ropes repelling from down from the ceiling, maybe more rangers in that corridor, but... When I drew him, I decided, yeah, it's flames. It's just flames. And honestly, it's, as I said, in my opinion, the best part of the drawing. Or art piece, I don't really know. Uh, so, yeah... Other things about that, yeah, why is there a fairy in that uh, drawing? Well, that's a very good question. Well, from a first glance, yes, they do are like classical anthropomorphic fairies, but they are not in actuality. They are one of the four races in Crimson Punk, which is uh, they are bestians. The other three are humans, Mizurashis, and Zori. Humans are, well, humans. Normal, normal stuff. Bestians are a genetically engineered uh, race of 
human animal hybrids, uh, mostly canine or feline hybrids, that were created way, way back when. Uh, because the universe takes place in 2343, and the Beastians were created around 350 years ago. Um, so, yeah, they exist for a very long time now, and they kind of sort of are their own race. You can't really become a Beastian anymore because it's forbidden, but next race. Mesorashis, uh, humans that actually managed to evolve themselves from, you know, constant exposure to space, they just adapted. Uh, their most mm, unique thing, they have a second uh, thumb on their hands. And the last race, the Zoris, which is basically ancient lizard people. And they're massive, like 3 meters tall most adults minimum and they grow infinitely and they can most of the time live infinitely unless they are killed but they don't die of natural causes so yeah anyways thank you for watching and thank you for listening to me rant and i hope i somehow made watching me draw this more enjoyable and i hope you check out my deviantart maybe order a commission or something i don't know would be nice at least i need money <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, see ya.